Hello everyone, welcome to Court with Chrissy. Today we are headed to Antrim County in Northern Michigan as Magistrate Carter arraigns a defendant who bonded out of jail that morning, is getting arraigned on these charges, and while getting arraigned, might get to go back into police custody. Let's get to it. Court with Chrissy is now in session. Okay, welcome back, gentlemen. Mr. Kane, did you have an opportunity to speak with Mr. McQuarrie? I did, Your Honor. Mr. McQuarrie is aware of the accusations pending. He's aware of the max penalties attaching there, too. He's aware of his rights. We'd have a further reading of any of that info. Uh, he is requesting court-appointed counsel, please. Okay, very good. Uh, Mr. McQuarrie, I, I know you just reviewed this, but I, I do have to remind you, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say orally or in writing may be used against you in court. You have the right to a trial and you have the right to the assistance of an attorney and to have that attorney present for all questioning in any subsequent court proceedings. If you cannot afford an attorney, the court would appoint one for you at partial public expense. Uh, so to that end, I'd like to complete a petition with you. If you would please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm that the information you're about to give me is the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Thank you, sir. You may put your hand down. Uh, could you confirm a good mailing address for us? Thank you. Do you have a telephone number you utilize? Um, I just got out of jail and they took my phone. I'm going to have to get a new number. And as soon as I do, I'll let you know. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. And um, let's see, it looks like um, your email is at yes, Yahoo. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, what's your living arrangement? Um, I rent a room. Okay. What's your rental obligation? I have to pay uh, 500 a month for a room. Thank you. What's your legal marital status? Single. And do you have any minor children or dependents you support? Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you pay child support? <laughs> yes, ma'am. What's the amount of child support you pay? Five seventy a month. Thank you. And are you employed? <laughs> Mr. McQuarrie, are you employed? Yes, ma'am. I'm. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where do you work? I Hold in. I lost the. You see me? What's the name of your employer? Dean's Roofing. Thank you. And um, what's your average take-home pay? We about eight hundred a week. Eight hundred a week at Dean's Roofing. Okay, thank you very much. Do you own any vehicles? No, ma'am. Okay. All right. Uh, the court is going to appoint an attorney for you. He or she is going to be getting in touch with you in the next couple of weeks. So please, um, as soon as you get a new telephone number, contact the district court offices and update that, um, uh, that telephone number with the, the criminal clerks. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Very good. The next step in the process is going to be a probable cause conference. And we'll schedule that for April 3rd. We'll send a notice to appear in the mail. So please watch for that, okay? Yes, ma'am. And we'll also schedule a preliminary examination at the same time. That'll be for April 10th. Okay. All right, and um, as to bond, uh, 
Ms. Trustel, is there anything that you'd like to um, add, change, request? Your Honor, I am very, I'm a little behind here because I understand Mr. McCorry was released today. His bond was revoked yesterday. Um, his bond was revoked. I'm checking my files right now. Uh, I don't know if he made bond in both cases, but in the 5257 case, his bond was revoked. So uh, let's see, Mr. McQuarrie, I know you have uh, another open case. Um, let's see. And that, that was um, case number 24-4254-FY, and it was bound over to circuit court. Um, it, it appears that circuit court did revoke that bond um, yesterday. Was, did you receive a copy of that? I did not get no bond revoked. I got bonded out yesterday, ma'am. I don't know. I'm not really sure how this court. Okay. No, that's I'm not really sure about the interaction, Your Honor, between uh, the bonds because we don't often get notice of bond hearings and often we get the bonds after they're a done deal. So I'm not sure how this all works. I just noticed that the bond in the circuit court case was revoked yesterday. Okay, it appears that in that companion case, it was a $25,000 cash or surety bond, which you posted. Was it, I, I went through the same bail bondsman, ma'am. Yes, and then this one was a $50,000 10%, which <clears throat> you posted. Yes, um, and let's see, in your other case, you do have... Um, request for counsel and let me see if they've, so this, this would be something my, my advice would be to contact your, um, court appointed attorney, which I'm trying to see. It's Mr. Johnson. Right? Oh, Mr. Johnson. Um, Mr. McQuarrie, do you have Mr. Johnson's contact information, your attorney, Matthias Johnson? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So um, with, this, with this case that we were um, presently working on, um, I'd like to... So this was a $50,000 10% bond that he, he also posted... Um, I'd like to um, continue that with the the additional information that as soon as you get a, a good contact number, I would ask that you um, update that with the district court offices. Okay, ma'am. I, I actually have yes. A, I have a police officer outside my door right now. Can you please tell them that that everything is? <laughs> I'm on court right now with the magistrate. Okay, hey, mistake, everything's good. My bond's good. <laughs> I'm right here. You know I should you talk to us, That's great. This is Sergeant Sikansky with the Anshu County Sheriff's Office. How are you? Hi, Sergeant. Um, I'm doing well. So I I have um some some information that um so we're, we just completed an arraignment on a new case. And uh -huh. it appears that there's another case that was bound over to circuit court. And I was informed that the bond on that case had been revoked. I don't right. have a copy of it. Is that accurate? Yeah. So I have a copy of it in my pocket. Okay. So Mr. McQuarrie, you're going to have to, um, uh, ride back to the jail with, with Sergeant Sikansky and um, 
maybe once you, once you, if you have someone there that can call Mr. Johnson, or if you, you get a phone call when you get back to the jail. Um, I'll, I'll we'll, send him an we'll email right now, your this. honor. I'll send, I I'll send Matias an email. Well, I don't understand Thank how you. you out for one day. I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. You know what I mean? I just, I'm going through the same bondsman. You're saying I'm okay. What's, why do I have? But this is a Okay. So we'll, we'll send some paperwork over, over to the jail and Mr. Kane is going to contact your attorney for you. So, so you'll, You'll get additional information later, okay? That means I gotta. Uh, what, what? Okay. We'll um, send that paperwork over. 